The origin of the Hunnic people is one of debate, but it is commonly believed they came from the ancient steppe people called the Shanu, which would dominate the Mongolian steppe for centuries. However, after years of wars with the Chinese Han dynasty and several internal revolts, the Shanu would fall from power, leading many of the nomadic tribes that made up the confederation to begin migrating west. Nearly a century later, in 360 AD, the Huns would begin crossing the Volga River into the Caucasian steppe. Here the Hunnic people began an invasion into the land of the Alans, which were located just to the east of the Don River. They would defeat them swiftly, forcing the survivors to either submit or flee to the west. They would then turn their attention to a collection of Turkic-speaking nomadic tribes which would subsequently be defeated in a second battle. At this time, the Hunnic peoples were most likely a collection of various tribes, led by a chieftain named Balamur. To the west of the Huns, the eastern Goths fell under attack from the remaining Alans, which were moving west to escape the Huns. The eastern Gothic king, Vithamiris, hired the Huns to fight against the Alans, but he would be killed in battle. The Huns, now having dealt with the Alans, would attack the weak Eastern Goths, which would mostly submit without a fight. Those who decided to resist marched to the Dniester River, which was the border between the lands of the Eastern and Western Goths, where they were met by Athanaric, the leader of the Western Goths at the head of his troops. However, the Hun army managed to bypass the Goths and attack them from the rear forcing Athanaric to retreat towards the Carpathian Mountains, where, after a futile defense, they would retreat to the Lower Danube, requesting asylum in the Roman Empire, where Emperor Valens permitted them to settle in the autumn of 376. In 395, the Huns began their first large-scale attacks on the Romans. In the summer of that year, the Huns crossed the Caucasus Mountains, while another Hunnic invasion force crossed the frozen Danube and pillaged Thrace. The forces in Asia invaded Armenia, Persia, and the Roman provinces in Asia. One group crossed the Euphrates and was defeated by a Roman army, while two other armies rode down the Euphrates and threatened the Persian capital of Cestaphon. One of these armies was defeated by the Persians, while the other fell back. A final group of Huns ravaged Asia Minor devastating parts of Syria and Cappadocia. The devastation was worse because most of the Roman forces had been moved to the west. In 398, Eutropius finally succeeded in gathering an army and restoring order in the province, but the Huns had already withdrawn, plundering much of the region. By this time, Uldin had been named leader of the Huns. It is uncertain quite when he came to power, but the Romans identify him as a Regulus, a sub-king. In 400, Gainus, a former Roman magister, entered into Uldin's territory with an army of Goths. Uldin responded, defeating and killing him, where he would send his head to Constantinople. In 405 and 406, Hunnic conquests in Germania forced groups of Vandals, Swaby, and Alans to cross the Rhine into Gaul, followed by a group of Goths, under Radagasus, which invaded Italy. Stilicho, the Roman magister, responded by asking for Uldin's aid. Uldin's Huns subsequently marched on the Gothic army, destroying them in modern Tuscany in 406. Uldin also sent an army of a thousand Huns to help the Eastern Roman Empire to fight against the Goths under Alaric. After Stilicho's death in 408, however, Uldin withdrew his support and personally marched with an army across the Danube and captured several important fortresses in Mosia. The Roman commander in Thrace attempted to make peace with Uldin, but Uldin refused his offers. However, many of Uldin's commanders subsequently defected to the Romans, and most of his army was defeated and captured. Uldin himself narrowly managed to escape back across the Danube. Sources on the Huns after Uldin are scarce. In 412 or 413, the Huns launched a new raid into Thrace under the rule of Donatus. 
who was king of the Huns and most likely succeeded Uldin. The Huns again raided in 422 under the command of a leader named Ruga. They reached as far as the walls of Constantinople, forcing the Eastern Roman Empire to pay an annual tribute. In 424, they are recorded for helping the Romans in a campaign in North Africa, indicating friendly relationships with the Western Roman Empire. In 425, Roman Magister Aetius recruited a large army of Huns and marched into Italy to fight against forces of the Eastern Empire. The campaign ended with reconciliation, and the Huns received gold and returned to their lands. In 427, however, the Romans broke their alliance with the Huns and invaded Pannonia, reconquering a portion of it. By this time, Ruga and his brother Octor ruled jointly as supreme rulers of the Huns. Ruga appears to have ruled the land east of the Carpathians, while Octar ruled the territory to the north and west of the Carpathians. Octar would die in 430 while fighting against the Bulgarians near the Rhine. In 432, Ruga aided Aetius in a conflict in the Roman Empire. Ruga either sent or threatened to send an army into Italy. In return, Aetius surrendered a portion of Pannonia to Ruga in 433. Then in 434, Ruga sent an emissary to Constantinople, announcing that he intended to attack some tribes whom he considered under his authority, but who had fled into Roman territory. However, he died after the beginning of his campaign, and the Huns would leave Roman territory shortly after. Ruga would be succeeded by his nephews, Attila and Bleda. Thank you everybody for watching, please leave a comment letting me know your thoughts and consider liking and subscribing as it truly helps me make a better video for everybody and as always thank you for watching The Knowledge Show.